Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here and Google has just announced Chrome OS Flex. You can now install Chrome OS on your older Mac that is no longer security supported by Apple. And this continues my series of being able to keep our old Macs running as long as possible, whether it's installing Windows 10 or Big Sur or Mac OS Monterey with OpenCore Legacy Patcher. In this video, I'm going to go over everything that you need to know to install Chrome OS on your older Mac. Let's jump in and get started. Real quick, before we begin, as with most of my how to videos. I always keep an update section in the description of this video that'll keep you updated if there's any changes in the installation process and a set of detailed chapter markers so you can go exactly where you want to go in the video. Why would you want to install Google Chrome OS on your Mac? Well, there's a couple reasons. First of all, Apple only supports security updates on Macs for a certain amount of time. For example, Mac OS Monterey is the latest version that's available today as of this taping. But if your Mac only can install up to Mac OS Mojave, then you are no longer supported by Apple for security updates, leaving you vulnerable to a whole bunch of exploits. But that's why I show you how to install Mac OS Monterey or Big Sur with OpenCore Legacy Patcher or Windows. 10 or now as a third option Chrome OS Flex which will be supported by Google for as long as they show that their model is certified. Let's first take a look at the requirements guide for models. Google keeps a list here of certified models that are known to work with Chrome OS. They show verified to work minor issues or major issues expected. So when you go to the Apple section here you can see that they support Max all the way back to 2009 for Chrome OS. So you can always take a look at this and and it might change if they find issues with certain things that might not work. Next, let's go over what you will need to be able to install Chrome OS on your Mac. First of all, obviously you need a Mac. Now, the problem here is, is that I've talked in the past about dual booting Windows 10 and Mac OS Monitor or Big Sur with OpenCore Legacy Patcher. With Chrome OS, it takes over your entire hard drive, and I don't know of a way to dual boot it yet. If I do, I'll make sure I put that in the comments below. But right now, the formatting system with the installer will format your entire hard drive, so make sure you back up your data first before you begin. Also, you'll need a USB installer. 8 gigabytes are larger to be able to have the Chrome OS installer and the same thing with that all contents of the USB drive will be erased so make sure you back up all your files off that USB before we begin. Now keep in mind it's not just for Mac you can install Chrome OS on Windows or even a Linux device and here are the minimum device requirements that are recommended by Google. Uh, the architecture obviously Intel or AMD, the RAM at least 4 gigabytes of RAM, internal storage 16 gigabytes of RAM and, and also the devices is bootable from a USB drive. Okay, the first thing we're going to need to do is create a USB installer for Chrome OS Flex. Now, like I said, you need an 8 gigabyte USB flash drive or above. A 3.0 is recommended just so it would be able to write and install quickly. Our demonstration model today will be a 2010 Mac Mini. So we're going pretty far back and the highest operating system that can be installed on this Mini is High Sierra 10.13.6 that is unsupported by Apple for security updates. So let's plug in our USB drive here. Okay, our USB drive is plugged in. There is two separate partitions already on this USB drive and they will be erased when we start this process. The next thing we're going to need is Chrome browser because what's interesting is the way Google does it is they use a Chrome browser extension to start the installer system. So let's first go to the web page that we need to go to and all the links will be in the description below. Okay, so first we'll download Chrome browser. If you already have it, you can skip this step. We'll wait for it to finish downloading here. It's done downloading. You'll see down in your downloads folder here, you'll see Google Chrome.dmg. Click on it to load the DMG on your desktop. Okay, now you can see that all you need to do is take Google Chrome and drag it to your applications folder here. And you'll see it start to copying to applications. We'll give it a second here to finish. Okay, the copy is complete. Now we can go into our Macintosh hard drive here or click on Finder, go into Applications, and we should see Google Chrome right here. We'll open up the browser. Google Chrome is the application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, we do. Start Google Chrome. Okay, now we can cut and paste our support URL for Google Chrome OS to our new Chrome browser here, and we'll paste it with Control V and hit enter. Okay, now we can scroll down here and then we can access the Chrome Web Store to be able to get the Chrome extension. Click on that link right here. It'll bring you right to the Chrome Web Store and all we need to do is click on Add to Chrome for the Chromebook Recovery Utility. Click on Add Extension. 
and that's it. So you can click on that and then you can click on the extensions here and then you can click on the Chromebook recovery utility. And there it is. You'll need an eight gigabyte or larger USB flash drive. Get started. Now, remember what we talked about. Again, one more final warning. Make sure you back up all the files to offer your USB drive because it will be completely erased in this process. So all we need to do here is click on select a model from the list and then select Google Chrome OS Flex. And then under select product, Google Chrome Flex. You can see here and it's the developer version right now, but in the future it will be a production view version. And then click on continue. And then it's saying, which media would you like to use? So let's click on select. And you can see it's picking up our USB SAN disk, a USB drive here. We'll click that and click continue. And all data will be erased and we'll get started by clicking create now. And there it goes. What it's gonna do is it's gonna download the Chrome OS Flex files, which is anywhere between between one and three gigabytes and then write the installer files to the USB. We'll be right back in a second when this is complete. Okay, we're just about complete on the download here and okay, it's gonna verify and now it's gonna unpack and then write to the USB drive. Okay, just about complete here on the unpacking. Now we'll start the writing and then we'll type in our administrator password. And again, depending on the speed of your drive, this could take a little bit of time. Usually the 40 minutes is not that. Usually it takes around anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes. And you'll see this start to count down pretty quickly here. Once it starts picking up speed, you can see it already down, went up for 35 minutes here, 26. So we'll let this finish writing. We'll be right back. Okay, just a couple more seconds here. And now that completes, it's gonna verify the media here. Now what I wanted to mention before we restart with the USB installer here is that the nice thing about Chrome OS Flex is it, it lets you test it out first to see how you like it off the USB before you fully install it in the system. So once you reboot to the installer, you have two options. Install it, erase the hard drive, and install it on the hard drive, or test it out. So my suggestion to you is to just click the test out button first, test it out to see how you like it. And if you like it, then you can go back and then install it on the operating system. Now, keep in mind, after that, and you don't like it, you'll need a USB installer of High Sierra or Sierra or Mojave or whatever you have to be able to reinstall back, or you can use an internet recovery. Sometimes internet recovery can be troublesome, so that's why I always recommend having a USB installer of the Mac OS that you will want to roll back to on hand. You can just boot to that hard drive, click erase, and then reinstall Mac OS. Okay, you're just about finished here with the verification. Success, your recovery media is ready. You can click on done here, and then now we're ready to restart the system. And this is your final warning if you need to save any data off the device, because we are going to erase the entire drive. Restart, and then we're gonna hold down the option key. Okay, the Mac just rebooted. I'm holding down the option key so I can get to the boot selection screen. You can see if I click enter right now, it'll bring us right back into Mac OS. But now we see our EFI boot, which is the Chrome OS Flex installer. All we need to do is click on it with our mouse or arrow over and then click on enter. After you do that, give it a second. It actually has to process and then start to load. And the loading screen for Chrome OS will be a, a black screen when it first starts. And then you'll see a white screen with Chrome OS start. So we'll give it a second here and it should start to boot. Okay, there we go. There's our Chrome logo and now it's starting to boot into the Chrome OS Flex installer. Welcome to Cloud Ready 2.0. Let's click on Get Started. Now here is where I mentioned earlier about trying it first. If you're unsure whether you're gonna like this, just click try it first. It'll run it off the USB so it'll be slower, but at least you can test it out first just to make sure you like it or not. Now after you tried it out and you do like it, that's when you're gonna move to this next step, which we're gonna do is in install Google Chrome OS Flex to our internal hard drive, erase it and install the operating system. So we'll click on next. And it mentions here one more time, make sure all your files are backed up because it's gonna erase the entire drive. Let's click install. And again, one final warning, click on install. And there it goes. So it says here, make sure your device is plugged in. Don't turn it off. The installation may take up to 20 minutes. Your device will automatically shut down once the installation is complete. And that's what's a little bit different about Chrome OS is there's no restart button. You either have it on or you have it off. So once the installation is done, it should shut down the Mac. If it doesn't, it'll say shutting down Mac 20 seconds. And when it gets to zero, it should shut off on its own. If it gets stuck, give it a little time, make sure it doesn't turn off on its own and then power 
it down and then power it back up without the USB drive connected and then it'll boot right into Chrome OS. So we'll let this sit here and install and we'll come right back when it's almost finished. Okay, the installation is complete. As you can see here, the device will shut down in 13 seconds here, but we can basically just shut it down right now. Okay, we're powering back up without the USB installer in and we should start to boot right into Chrome OS Flex. There we go. Okay, now we're at the setup assistant window. Let's get started. So the first thing it needs to do is connect to a network and we'll do that now. Okay, as you can see down here, it's connected to Wi-Fi and it's now connected. Now we're loading. Now it's terms of service here and you can help improve Google OS features. If you have this check mark or not, we'll click accept and continue checking for updates and it's saying, is this you or are you setting this up for a child where you can set up restrictions? We'll leave it as you and then click on next. So we will sign into Chromebook here and we'll continue next. Okay, I'm all signed in here. Now you had to do a two-step verification if you have that on, on your Google account. Now, what I did forget to mention is, is that if you're totally new to Google or Chrome, you have to make sure that you have a Google account or a Gmail account. That's all you need to be able to sign in to Chrome OS. So now it's asking if you want to sync your device apps and settings, we'll click accept and continue here. This is asking if you want to be able to provide hardware data to improve Cloud Ready 2.0. We'll Click accept and continue and loading the Google Assistant, the Hey Google, and let's click on get started. And here we are, Google Chrome OS Flex on a 2010 Mac Mini. Now all you need to do is you have all your apps down here. You got Google Chrome, you got YouTube. We can click on the settings over here and we can see that we have Bluetooth set up. We have our Wi-Fi set up here and let's test to make sure the sound works here. And there's our sound from Steve. And that's the basic setup for Chrome OS. And again, if and this is another option for you to be able to use your old Mac and have it be secure and updated by Google to make sure that it's safe and secure. A lot of people might say, why would you put Chrome OS on a Mac, right? And again, this is no longer supported by Apple. And maybe you didn't want to use the Open Core Legacy Patcher. You had problems doing that. And maybe at work or at school, you use Chrome OS and you're really familiar with it. You like using it. So if you want to be able to use this on the Mac, now you have the option to be able to do it. And I think it's a wonderful option to be able to do here. I hope you enjoyed this video and it created value for you. If it did, I appreciate a thumbs up or a share. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, click on that subscribe button. And I wanted to give a thanks to all my subscribers and especially my patrons that support me in this channel. Thank you very much. And we'll catch you in the next video.